I am so excited to see what God is doing in this day. I mean, it's so awesome to be a part of a church that is pursuing the fullness of God. And it's so amazing when you receive the light of Christ inside of your heart and you allow it to work in you and you allow the word and the spirit to transform you, that that light starts to shine through you. And when that light starts to shine through you, it attracts all those around that are in need of it. And there's no greater feeling than to minister the life of Christ Jesus to those that are in need. We all want to shine. We all want to learn, God, what is it that you have for me? God, what is my purpose? How can I build your kingdom? How can I shine my light? And if you've been around Mount Zion or this channel for quite some time, I'm sure you've heard the verse out of Isaiah chapter 60. Arise and shine for your light has come for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It is so awesome to have that light shining. But I think it's very interesting in this scripture before it instructs us to shine, it tells us that we first must arise. This is a time where God is calling his church to arise. That no matter where you are in your walk with the Lord, this is a season of new beginnings in this new day. And in this new day, God is calling you to arise, to leave the things of the past, to come out of that tomb, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God, to become all that God has called you to be, so then you can shine, so then you can be that living demonstration of what it means to truly be the sons and daughters of Christ here on this earth. But in order to arise, we first must die. And I want to read a scripture for you in John chapter 12. It says, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain. He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. What Christ is trying to show us here is that in order to truly produce the fruit of the Lord, in order to become all that God has called us to be, we have to be willing to give up this life that we're wanting to control, that we're wanting to try to find, that we're wanting to try to make sure happens the way that we want to happen. God's saying, are you willing to die to yourself? Are you willing to die to your old mindsets? Are you willing to put to death the hurt, the fear, the doubt, the pride, the pain that has so easily ensnared you for so long, will you put that to death? Will you leave it in the tomb and arise? Just like Lazarus, Jesus said, arise, son. Won't you come out of that tomb? Won't you come out of that old way of thinking? Won't you leave those hurts in the past? Won't you give them up to me so that I can create in you everything that I've called you to be so then you can shine as my living demonstration of what it means to be a son of God, what it means to be a daughter of God in this new day? God has an amazing and mighty call for each and every one of us. But in order to shine, we first need to arise so that we can be transformed in our mind, in our heart, in our spirit. And once we're transformed, then we can truly shine to be that demonstration, to be that light in the darkness, to show we have something that you need. The world has need of you and God wants to use you in his plan. But in order to shine, you need to arise. And in order to arise, it's time, church, to put to death the things of the past. Just like Lazarus, God is calling you out of your tomb to pursue him in a new and a fresh way. No matter where you are in your walk, there is something new for you. So in this Give Us This Day, let's take the time. Let's say, God, I'm going to put to death the things of the past. And I'm going to rise literally from this tomb as I walk in newness of life and who you've created and called me to be. Church, be blessed. Don't give up on pursuing God with all your heart.